More than 440,000 new COVID cases on Monday. That is a record for one day. And those daunting waits at testing centers, long lines that we're seeing from coast to coast. And this all comes amid those new questions about rapid antigen tests and whether they may be less sensitive to Omicron. We'll hear from CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky about all of this and more. But first, Trevor Alt is live here in New York with the very latest. Trevor, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Jim. Just then. The number of COVID-19 infections hit a record high over the past seven-day period in the United States and globally, according to Reuters data, which showed the average number of daily cases in the U.S. surged to more than 258,000, over 8,000 more than the previous record set last January. Officials say much of the spike is due to the highly transmissible Omicron variant racing out of control. During an audio-only press briefing Wednesday, CDC Director Rochelle Walensky said the surge is not over yet. In a few short weeks, Omicron has rapidly increased across the country and, we expect, will continue to circulate in the coming weeks. While our cases have substantially increased from last week, hospitalizations and deaths remain comparatively low right now. Top U.S. infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci said studies point to Omicron being less severe than the Delta variant among vaccinated people, but warned. We should not become complacent since our hospital system could still be stressed in certain areas of the country. More than 76,000 people are hospitalized with COVID-19 nationwide, up 19 percent in the last 10 days, according to a Reuters tally. WHO Director Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus sounded the alarm for global cases Wednesday. Delta and Omicron are twin threats that are driving up cases to record numbers, which again is leading to spikes in hospitalizations and deaths. I'm highly concerned that Omicron being more transmissible, circulating at the same time as Delta, is leading to a tsunami of cases. Britain, Italy, Spain, Portugal, Greece, Cyprus and Malta all registered record numbers of new cases on Tuesday. The French health minister told lawmakers on Wednesday that France was seeing a dizzying rise in cases, with 208,000 reported in the space of 24 hours. That's a national and European record. Fifteen minutes later. Seen at testing sites. I was looking for a test uh, about a week ago. I have, I have symptoms, so I just wanted to make sure before I could hold, go back to work. That's all. Make sure I'm like okay to head back to work. Five states currently reporting more new COVID cases than at any other point in the pandemic. Cases in Florida, Georgia, and Washington, D.C. tripling in the past week. Experts now forecasting will have lost 863,000 American lives to the virus by January 22nd, with the U.S. now averaging more than 240,000 cases a day. This as the CDC shortens the isolation period for asymptomatic Americans infected with COVID-19, cutting the isolation period in half from 10 days to 5 days, followed by strict mask wearing for another 5 days. But the CDC not recommending people first test negative before coming out of isolation. Isolation. CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky defending the decision on GMA. And we do know that the vast majority of viral transmission happens in those first five days, somewhere in the 85 to 90 percent range. So we're really talking if you can isolate for those first five days, that would be great. And